Hello there, I'm a love you, Drew Makers. I'm Christina on CSL Designs, and in today's video, I'm going to be opening up another magical mystery box from Jesse Jane's Beads. So let's just get right into it here. So I'm quite curious because the previous box that I tried was the first one from them. Curious to see how this is going to be compared to it. So, whoops. Get into it here using my trusty, lovely rainbow scissors kind of started a collection of scissors because I've discovered different ones you can get that I really like so whoops anyway <laughs> that's not what it's about let's see Oof. that's hard to get into bloody heck there we go Oof. Thought for a second I was it was stuck, I was doing something wrong. Ah this looks interesting. So I think it's pretty obvious what this is gonna be the theme. So this is a box where they do it each month, it's a different theme. So I think, like I said, that's pretty obvious, the circle of life. So let's just say Lion King. <laughs> Which I'm guessing makes sense with when the film came out, the new one. So again, gonna keep that handy. That's the description. And let's just get into it all here. Try and not make too much of a mess. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> right. I'm just going to try and not look too closely yet. And just kind of get it all out. Oh my. And get all the way to the bottom there get that paper out and I think that's it empty yep nope missed a little bit that's empty right now I'm just gonna try and get most of this stuff out of the way so we can actually have a look at the proper useful <laughs> content all the pink stuff at least it's pretty easy to identify because of the bright pink. Right, okay. Now I'm just gonna then keep actually I'm just leather card USA, you deserve the finest leather. So that looks to be a bit of kind of like an ad, you could say, for a leather shop basically. Looks like on the pictures it looks nice. Obviously you can't really tell until you see it in real life, but it looks nice. It looks like you get a lot of different colours, which I do really like that with leather. Because I find that it's kind of hard to find and also it's good quality, so that's interesting enough. A little info, so I'm just going to keep this handy here, turn it around. And then just kind of go through it a bit at a time, try and identify things. So let's see. So let's start from the top. Serengeti Mini Mix, featuring Swarovski and Czech beads. So I think that's the kit. So I'm just going to put that to the side. So on most of them, happens to be the one I just picked out first. That was not on purpose, but brilliant. I'm going to take that. Uh, they do say on them what it is, so you don't have to kind of guess too much. So this is the first one. You got the Swarovski and the Czech beads. So again, it's similar to the last one, but obviously just a different theme. This is very earthy and brown and gold, which obviously fits the Lion King theme. So... We got the Swarovski by cones, and then we have the check beads, some kind of rounds but faceted, and then some other shaped beads. Pretty interesting. So you can definitely get there's an overall tribal feel here as well. I'm just try and get them a little bit closer. You can see them because I'm not just necessarily going to take all the little beads out here because they literally just go all over the place because it's not resealable bags. From what I can tell, not in this one either. So once you open it, it's kind of open. So I'm not going to risk it, but it's a bit of a closer look. So you can see some different shapes. Yeah, so the hole in those black ones, they do go lengthways. So the hole is at the top there and then hole on the bottom. So that's a bit different. So that's the first one. Let's put that to the side. Then the next one is a Maasai Mara Reserve. <laughs> Don't 
mind my pronunciation, I'm not too familiar with some of these words, but Design Elements Bead Mix. So what is that going to be? Not that one, I think. Design Elements is going to be this one. That's the big one. The biggest one of the kind of little, well, little <laughs> bead mixes bags. So I'm not going to repeat the name. <laughs> I'm just going to make a fool of myself more than I already have. So again, we kind of have two separate bags in each of these little mixes. And it seems to be a little bit general thing where it's kind of separated. Obviously that's Swarovski and then check beads, so kind, but also size. So the smaller beads here are kind of kept separate. Very interesting. There's some right there, kind of metallic ones, in a very unusual shape, a bit lantern-like. That's interesting. And then larger beads below. Again, very tribal and very natural, earthy feel to it all. Almost gives me zebra vibes. Which obviously again fits with Lion King. Zebra vibes, lion vibes, giraffe vibes. That's pretty interesting that. Right, next we have African trade beads, three pairs. I think that might be what I grabbed before. African trade beads, yep. So three pairs, so obviously six beads. So they're very unique, that's for sure. So basically, they are, I'm guessing, handmade. They look kind of like they are anyway. Mix this. Um, so it is pairs, so you kind of get two beads that do match in case you want to use them for that. And then obviously two other ones and two other ones. So definitely very interesting, very tribal looking in my opinion. Also because of the colours. And definitely add some colour as opposed to the other ones. They're very earthy and browny and golden. You got some colour with these ones here. So that's nice. And then next we have tassel mix. We also had one like that in the previous box. So that seems like it might be a repeating thing. You kind of get tassels. Which is also very tribal and very, I would say, matches great with the theme. And it's different kinds, so you get kind of your regular tassels, typical ones, just with that's black and white again, kind of zebra. And then some more with what looks to be more like kind of, not necessarily leather cord, but something like it. So that's interesting as well. Can be an interesting mix with a lot of the beads. Then we have a cheetah blossom, three pieces. I'm guessing that's these then, blossoms and three pieces. That makes sense with these. Gotta just open that one up, I think. So that kind of looks to be some metal pieces. Just get one out. That is unusual. Let me get it a bit close here. So it's definitely like, on this side have a metallic feel to it but it's actually if you can kind of see it's raised which is kind of clear part whether I would guess it's acrylic or something like that that I'm guessing is put on top of like a metallic back and then it gets a very interesting effect through that's very unusual and you do actually have I was wondering if there was any holes or anything Oh, you do actually, there's, let me just move that, you can see through, there's a hole here on that side. It's not there, not there, but then you also have holes on these two. So there appears to be three holes. I think it's the same on all of them. That's unusual. Maybe that's actually quite, it fits, it would work brilliantly with a necklace. So you have the two holes next to each other there, they would go up and be kind of the cord or chain, whatever you want to add it to, around your neck, and then you still have a hole at the bottom we can attach something to dangle from. That is very unusual, I would say, and quite large, so impactful as well, that's for sure. Anyway, next we have chain reactions. So I'm guessing that obviously means something to do with chain. We also had some chain last time, so it also seems to be a general thing, which I think is brilliant in things like this, also that you get some findings and some chains and things like that, so you can kind of make pieces without necessarily having to have something itself if you're new to something or new to jewelry making. 
chain for beading. So this is the chain. So it's gold. Again, obviously that goes with the theme. Everything here is kind of gold. And then they're actually not black. I thought at first they were black. They're more of the brown beads incorporate into it. And then the metallic links, different ones, metal links there. Balls and then uh, elongated, twisted, ch not tube, but rectangle type thing. Very delicate chain. And that was a chain reaction. Then we have small metals mix. Unique blend in each box. Small metals. So let me have a look. Actually, there's another chain. Let me just. I think the chain might have fallen out of the bag. Yeah, that's an empty bag. They were in a bag each, so that fell out. So there was another one as well, which is different. You can see it's still gold, but the links. That is quite interesting. It's like an S almost. In the metal links, and then again, kind of separated out by these beads. That's again very delicate and very different. I quite like those little metal links there. That's unusual. And nice and delicate. Anyway, now we can move on. So just put those bags out of the way. So small metals mix. So could that be question else is which one? I would guess, yeah, that looks like chain actually. I would guess it's this one here. Yep, it must be. So let's these we can get out a little bit. But it's not like beads where they just roll around. Have a little closer look because it looks to be a mix of some different things. So let's try and see. Oh, that's cute. A hat with a little paw print and it's a bead. So you got the hole going down through the cleft down to the point. Then we have some elephants. They're cute as well. Looks a little, looks like it's almost a little flower where the eye would be. And you've got two of them. So you can obviously make any, you can make, use them in earrings and have a pair. Got a little, I was going to say wings then. I meant, um, Feathers. Wow. Sometimes you just lose your words. And some other metal, kind of just different metal beads. And some kind of flower like, oh, is it? Yeah, a bit flower like, I would say. That's definitely interesting. You got. You got a few of each, so you can always, if you're making pears or something, that's always nice, especially if you're making earrings. Actually, this one, you've only got one of them, haven't you? I think so. Yeah, but that is actually really cute. I always like stuff with paw prints. Can never go wrong with that. But that's the metal mix. So you got, actually, thinking of it, most of the stuff is gold. And I just realized, actually, most of this, except for the feathers, the rest is silver or kind of like a gunmetal. Which, you can easily mix your metals, I think. That's always nice. Ugh. And one had to fall down. And it wasn't even a bead. <laughs> anyway, I'll get that after. Let's get these back in. So, moving on. We have an 8 inch red cup chain. So that's what I saw before. Okay. When I realized it was actually a chain, not kind of loose metal pieces. I always love cup chains. It's, it's really nice for either on their own or to incorporate into jewelry. So you have, or you can actually see it quite nicely there in the light, the red. There we go, focus. So the kind of crystal in there is red. It's really obvious when the light just catches it and then the metal parts of the chain is gold. So that's interesting. Again, instead of just being clear or something, it's quite interesting that they chose to have red crystals in it. It's 
not often I've really seen that, but that's some more chain, technically. Circle of Life bead strand. So a bead strand here, I'm guessing, is this one. It doesn't say Circle of Life bead strand, but it kind of makes sense that it is. Right, so that's interesting. There was also a similar kind of strand like this in the last box, obviously just with different beads on. So let's have a little bit of a look. So starting on one end, and I'll just remove that. Struggling to focus. It's basically different beads from smaller ones, quite small ones. Metal, spacer beads, faceted beads, different sizes. Faceted are always nice because it adds a lovely sparkle. Some kind of animal print almost, I would say. Which, la with large holes, is almost like those, um, what's it, Pandora or Troll beads and spacer beads and then that actually looks kind of like it's a larger version of the ones that are in one of the beads mixes there I'm guessing that's actually what they look like and then this is just a larger version by the looks of it hmm. very unusual because actually it's I think yeah, the, it's like a, well it's not a bead, I don't think it's a hole in it. It's like a stone or something you want to call it. It does have quite a nice sparkle to it in itself. It's kind of got rainbow colours on it. Inside of it, but it's loose, but it can't get out through the hole, so it kind of can move around, which can really add to the sparkle, because the light will really catch it. That is very interesting and unusual. Kind of like a little cage, metal cage for a bead. Then we have some more sparkles, some more animal print, I would say. Some more golden tribal things. And then it kind of repeats for the rest of it. So you, I would say you at least have two of each, is my estimation. So, how it is, is the same with the previous one. It makes a nice bracelet just how it is. So you could easily restrand it and just turn it into a bracelet. But obviously you can also pick out the beads and use them for whatever you want to. But that's then the strand. Let's bring this back in. We have large focal bead set. It's got to be these ones. The last ones left of the loose things. Uh, so again, this looks similar. Oh, okay, I thought I had to get my scissors out again. So same principle. That large cage. Again, just even larger this. And this is obviously silver. With that loose bead. I don't think it's a bead because I don't think there's a hole in it, but kind of stone type thing inside of it that just moves around. That's very unusual. And the other one is also kind of like a cage by the looks of it, but basically three leaves put together. So it's kind of like a triangle from the top. But then you have multiple small crystals inside of there, moving around. And then you have pretty large loop at the top. So this could easily just be attached to something and just, as it is here, be a pendant. That would be lovely. And I would probably also say this be a pendant. You could easily attach something anywhere, really, because the frame on it is pretty easy to attach something to. Again, these are silver, which I do like. It's not just one metal, really. Especially if, say, you're not really into gold. It'd be a shame if a whole box in is full of gold findings. But they are very interesting, that's for sure. And I've not really seen anything like this. That's unusual. Get them back in there. So, that was the loose things. Then, also, with these boxes, you also get a kit. So, you get loose items that you can do what you want with. Then, they also supply you with a kit. That you can make a kit, you don't have to use it like they suggest, obviously. So this, I think it's pretty easy <laughs> to guess what this is related to. Let's have a little look. So, that's cute. The little kind of drawing from the film tag kind of thing. And what does it actually say? 
remember how you are, but in reverse. Is this... Laser cut charm. Simba custom laser cut charm. Hmm, okay, it's just a charm like this. It just almost seems a bit like it's supposed to be a stamp or supposed to be something, especially because the text is in reverse. So that would make sense if it was a stamp. But the back is then just like that. I almost feel like you should be able to peel something off like it's a sticker, but it just says it's a charm like that. But that's obviously from the film. And then there's some leather card and then also another charm. Oh, and also a little clasp, actually. So a toggle clasp. Pretty nice design there, definitely fits with the theme. Let's just have a look at that charm. So that's different, it's not just one hole to kind of then attach, make it a necklace. I mean, this you could then actually, obviously there's instructions as well for the kit that might actually be what they instruct to do, but I would imagine that you put leather on either side and then obviously go around and it could be a nice bracelet. A cute bracelet like that. And again, does this have text? It's just Hakuna Matata, which it's also called. Yep. And it also there's a link then here too as well where there is actually a tutorial for what they suggest to do with it. And like I said, you don't have to do that. And the leather, oh that's actually interesting, I didn't expect that. It's actually metallic looking, which I do love metallic leather. It's base it's my favourite I would say. I love when it has that metallic sheen to it. That's very nice. It looks like a nice, not too chunky leather because obviously it needs to be able to go through the holes. So that is the kit that's in the box. So this is then all the contents from the box. So like I mentioned last time, I do think it's very interesting that you get both loose beads and items that you can use, but also you actually get a kit within the box. Usually it's one or the other, but this is kind of mixed, so that's very interesting. And also obviously that each month the box has a different theme. So this obviously is Lion King or kind of the golden earthy tribal tones. So it kind of makes, it can make it a little bit easier sometimes to make things because you have a theme to work off of. And obviously you know that everything here, it goes together. Even the silver and the gold that always will, mix and metals I think will always go anyway. But I think that can sometimes help a little bit, make it a little bit less kind of intimidating of what to do with your things because you already have a theme to work off of but anyway enough talk what i'm going to do now is take some time and see if i can use any of this and make a few pieces so stay tuned so i've now had a bit of a chance to play around with some of these materials here i ended up basically more or less opening up all the bags so first of all it was the design element speed mix and because what I've ended up making, I've only ended up making one thing, but I've basically used a mix of, not everything, but a mix of a fair few of the different mixes here, bead mixes. And this little bag were the Swarovski pieces, Swarovski beads, that were connected to, I think it was this mini mix here. Yep, that's Swarovski beads. And I've also used the leather cord from the kit that was in it, so the Hakuna Matata project kit. I used one of the leather cards as well. So just basically a little overview, I've used a mix of majority of the bags that were in the box here. Now what I ended up making was kind of a bit of a combination of what it could be. I made a length with beads. Obviously first impression is a necklace. Because what I then did was use some of these little elements, which I actually really like. I think they're just really cool. You have that kind of cage, which in itself is really cool, but then that little bead, kind of crystal bead inside. It just sparkles, or then moves around as well because it's loose inside, but it can't fall out. So there's two in this size here. Now, I think there was still some left. There were some smaller ones as well, but I didn't use them. So I used the kind of 
medium size because there was also the large one there which I thought was a bit too large for it but still quite nice so I used the medium ones here and I thought what I would use them for was kind of like a clasp kind of thing you could say I put them on the ends of the leather cord and then there's the length of just the leather there and then I did a mix of a bunch of the other beads and strung them onto the leather mixed them up I especially really like some of these animal beads was kind of zebra print and also these different color kind of glass beads I just really love how it looks like it's inside and then there's a layer of glass around the outside I've always liked that kind of thing but especially those zebra beads I really like they're quite cute but then as well as them I ended up making my own beads as well because as you might have realized if you've watched more of these I've been doing a lot of wire crochet recently because of something I've got into so I wanted to try and make my own beads. It kind of came about a little bit as a, an accident. I was trying to do something else and then it ended up being kind of like a little bead. And I thought, I kind of like that. So I ended up just making some more and I thought, why not mix them in with these other beads and kind of add them to the mix. So it kind of just breaks it all up a little bit. So I made a bunch of them here, as you can see, little wire crochet beads. And basically just added them in, kind of strung things on somewhat randomly, even though I kept it too random. <laughs> but yeah, and then my thought was it could have the length of a necklace and you use these ends here to kind of tie behind your neck and just tie regular knots. And obviously that will hold because they kind of act as a stopper as well. Or what I thought, because the length I'm pretty sure is also quite good for actually making or well, using it as a bracelet wrap it around twice and then again you can just use these two lengths with them as stoppers tie them there the whatever length you need it to be and then you have a pretty chunky and quite nice looking bracelet I think so again a piece of jewelry that can act as more than just one thing I do quite like that I've been doing a few of them recently so that's what I ended up making with a mix of a bunch of the different things and I've actually ended up really quite liking this. Even though it's mainly gold tones, which is not usually my style, I prefer silver and copper, I do actually think this has ended up quite nice. And I think also it helps breaking it up a little bit with, I then choose to do those crochet beads and silver wire, which you can easily mix metals anyway. So it's not all kind of goldy tones and very warm. That silver just kind of breaks it up a little bit. So I actually kind of like how this ended up, and again, using some things that I haven't used before, but kind of use them for a bit of a different purpose. I quite like the idea of using these as kind of clasps or stoppers on the end. So I hope you like it too, at least it's a bit of something different, I think, and using a mix of kind of a lot of the beads. So I hope you enjoyed this video here and seeing what I ended up making. Now it's quite different for what I usually make as well, so it was a bit new to me, but I quite enjoyed doing it actually. And also it was interesting kind of discovering these little crochet beads. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching it and I'll see you in the next one.